Yep, yeah, black mamba. Oh, mamba. Big one inside. Please, take it out, please. Watch that going? That was stupid. Uh, oh, I'm right. right, now, see there. See you there, guys. That's the one. There's a nice big black mamba. Danger, danger, danger. Of all the snakes in southern Africa, the black mamba is responsible for the most human fatalities. Armed with neurotoxic and cardiotoxic venom, one bite from this snake will affect the nerves and muscles in minutes. Untreated, the victim will experience a series of symptoms such as respiratory paralysis, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, a complete loss of muscle movement, and finally death. I see you. Now we've located the snake, now we need to get the snake out of there. Watch out, I don't know where the head is, I don't know what I've got. Put another one. The head's going in your, closer to your one. Just wait there. I'm going to take this one off, just hold it. I'm good, I'm good. Another one? Yeah. See if we can pull it out. Gently, gently, gently. Put your one higher up. Put, put your one higher up now. Not all the way. Oh, jeez. Actually, that's good. Right, do you, when you grab a black mama behind the head, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Sue, so I said to her, put another grab higher up. And I was expected to then put mine above that one. But basically what happened is she put the grab high up and the snake reversed. Simon was saying to me the whole time, have you got it, have you got it? If I slip up, if I haven't got a good grip, Simon's life's on the line. So it is a huge responsibility. I'm about to go and grab it with my hand. So if it managed to slip through, firstly, it could bite me. Secondly, it could bite Sue. And thirdly, it could bite somebody else. So it is a very risky time we actually say, right, I'm going to go and grab it. You... Don't, don't move. My life is in your hands, right? No, you let slip them. OK. You're good, you all right? Yeah, now you can let go. You sure? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, well, this black mamba is hiding in this oven stove outside here. Oh, all right. All right, you're right. Uh, very, very angry and very feisty. It opened its mouth, typical trait of a black mamba. Wanted to bite and kill everybody there. Couldn't see anything, really. I was rummaging around, rummaging around. And then I opened the, the bottom drawer thing where you'd put your, like, hot plates to keep the food warm. And then I saw it in there. It's coiled up, just gone in there hiding. And it's probably, what, about two, two point something metres? If I just stretch it out, kind of thing, just to get a rough measurement here. All right, yeah. snake, sorry. Simon's main job here is catching the snake behind the head, uh, especially on the mambas, that's not where I'm sort of very brave. Which, as a consequence, I end up with the, the rear end, the, the arse end, basically. Um, and part of a mamba's defence, a lot of snakes do this as well, is actually just to, to sh everywhere. And that is so anyone holding it would naturally drop it because it's disgusting and they just want to get rid of it. So this snake did exactly that. I was covered in poop, I could feel it go on my face. Uh, it just literally went everywhere. Very upset and very anxious to bite. It's oh, it's twisting and twisting. Whenever you bag a black mamba, it's always scary, you know, you only have to make one little mistake. It just goes for a big jerk of its tail, it pulls backwards, and that's all it could take to get a fang in the finger or thumb. We'll take it away for you now. 